So Waldorf education is different from public school education because we do address the three learning styles, which are kinesthetic, oral, and visual. Uh, they do not have textbooks. They don't have sheets to be filling out all, all the time. Um, we, they create their own main lesson books and uh, they listen to oral presentations and there's a lot of hands-on. There's a lot of um, uh, creating um, projects and um, uh, using the different arts and of course music and the plastic arts and um, no, uh, uh, knitting and, and uh, crocheting and, and uh, sewing and we even juggle just a, a lot of hands-on and um, also uh, developmentally you know it's not when uh, it's not what you learn it is when you learn it and uh, so there's a whole um, time period of what is being taught in the classrooms the age for a grand house you know it can even be a hut it can be a home anything where people live is really a house with the H, right? The house. And they love making those discoveries. The D for door. The V for van. And give, give as long, as long as we live. Give and take, take and give. Give as long, as long as we live. The teachers that teach in this school they are so friendly, so lovely. They see our kids like like a friends or as a parents know like um, more numbers like in public schools or other schools. So in that way that our kids can feel very uh, free to to learn everything. It's a cup. We've used this many times, right? Yeah. So I'm here to tell you that one cup. One. Is the same as this? Yeah. Half. Couldn't be. Half of that. You think it's half? Mm -hmm. So how many cups would I need for this big Two cups. Two? Two? You, you think? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so when it comes time to baking, we're going to test that out to see if that's so. This cup is called a pint. If you lived in England or if you spent time in England, you might know that this is a pint. But this is a pint. And in the old days, they used to say, a pint is as much as a thirsty man can drink in one go. So in other words, if you fill this up, and if you came in from working very hard outside in the, out in the fields or in the yard, you might be able to drink that down in one go. And that's a pint. Wait, what do you that's mean? That's good. That's good. Anybody remember? Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben. Wo bist du so lang geblieben? Bei dem Schuster, tick, tick, tick. Der hat mir das kalte Wasser. Das kalte Wasser. If you're going through their respectively eight years and six years in a Walter school, I feel like my children have a thirst for knowledge and the curiosity to learn about this world. So to them, the subjects that they talk about are living and, and breathing. They're not in textbooks, they're not something that you have to get off the internet. They're all around them. They see geography around them, they see history in their past and in today and in the future, they hear music everywhere, they see math and the geometry of nature, they, and they want more. They're constantly asking for more. They're not um, tired out by just the sheer amount of information, and it is a lot of information, because it was delivered to them in such a healthful way. It was completely appropriate uh, at every age, and they're ready for more. They want more all the time. What do they do with the bones in their clothes, Nick? They sew. They sew. <laughs> yeah, they do. And where do they get this thread? Uh, where do they get this thread? They sure don't have cotton growing up. Oh, it's, it's, it's like coarse. 
hair. No, I remember, I remember. Oh. What is it called, Michael? The fibers from the sinew, right? Yes, yes. I remember sinews. those things. Sinews, yes. Do you remember also, else? if they capture bear, they'll use the stomach as a water um, bath. Waterproof. Yeah. yeah. And the intestines are used to waterproof whatever they need to waterproof. No, no, no. I mean, like it was that the stomach was used for water. As right. a bag, yes, yes, absolutely. And do they still use that today? Well, they yeah. should. Some do, should, but yeah. some do not. What do they use instead? If they, they use polyester or duffel you know, materials, absolutely. Good. But the fish revealed he was not just a fish, who was he? Oh, yeah, he was. He was, he was, uh, he was a dissension of who? A Vishnu, yeah, exactly. He was a dissension of Vishnu. And uh, in a form of a fish. So who is now as big as a whale? But what did the fish say to Manu? What, what did he, he told Manu to do something? What? Oh, he said build a boat. Build a boat. Not, no, not just a boat, but a ark. Exactly. Does this story sound familiar to anybody? One of the things that drew me to this school was how sweet I thought the early childhood program looked. It made me really happy to think of my daughter spending her days here cooking and sewing and painting and puppet shows and storytelling and not being forced into academics. I know four-year-olds who have homework and, and reading tutors and I didn't want that for my daughter yet. I want, I want her to learn social skills and, and vocabulary and, and things like that that a kindergartner should learn. And I think there's plenty of time when she goes to first grade to learn all of the academics that this school has to offer. One of the favorite things for me about the city school, and this is an answer that you'll get when you talk to any of the teachers here and any of the parents here, is the sense of community at our school. The people who are here are not here because it's the school at the end of the block that they're going to send their child to. Uh, it, the people who are here because they love this place. And it's really evident when you see at pickup time you come and all of the children are playing together all the way from first grade through eighth grade. They're on the yard, they're playing together harmoniously somehow. They they find a way to have that sense of community within themselves. It's just natural. We have a faculty here who are so brilliant, so artistic, and have such a deep sense of not only the potential of human children, but of the flexibility and the possibilities of education. It doesn't just have to be one thing. It can be exciting, it can be rewarding for both the faculty and the students. They explore subject matter from so many different viewpoints and through such amazing artistic explorations. And the children at our school take that as a matter of course. That's just how they approach their learning. 